Okay, I've been asked for this video because I built high seat and I posted it up somewhere and someone said what dimensions, blah blah blah. I had a look on YouTube and there's not many UK uh, double high seats. So I'm just going to show you how to, uh, how to uh, wreck this one. First of all, there's my materials uh, just there. I'm going to put it up just there somewhere. This is where I'm going to be shooting. So in the evening, mostly munchak come out along there I know this is a good position because a lot of these here we go all these little rides here showing lots of Munt Jack signs so as you can see Munt Jack are just walking straight through there onto the farmers crop and he wants some shot so I'll just go through this uh, process and how to build it and uh, then I'll try and, after I've finished, give you some measurements. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've got two of the 12 foot lengths and what I'm going to do is measure up 8 foot from the bottom. I'm going to drill a hole to fit a M10 bolt and this, these are 4.5 inch. Um, I'm going to go straight through that, both, both lengths and then do another two, and that's our main legs. So as you can see, I've bolted both the two long 12 foot pieces, like I say eight foot up, drilled through the bolts. I've just put a supporting back piece in, just so I can get it up without it all wobbling. Uh, these are the steps, they're 47 inches. And what I'm gonna do is just drill some pilot holes in each one two there and two there and they're going to be 18 inches apart I'm going to have four so start from the bottom 18 inches from the floor one 18 inches two 18 inches three 18 inches four so four steps are up again they are 18 inches apart that's all you need to get up I've also put another bracing piece at the back there, uh, quite a heavy bit of wood. I've measured from the, the two middle points there, got my measurement which I've then spaced out so it's nice and even. And then what I've done is bolted a strapping piece across there and that's five foot from hole to hole I've used again the same bolts four and a half inch tens M tens we'll do one the other side and then we'll level it up okay so I'm just assembling the seat so the seats done now so to do the seat what you'll need is from your centre of your cross point, which was 8 foot up, I've come up to the bottom of your seat, which is this piece here, and that measures 22 inches across. So, 22 inches across, you've had to use a small backing piece here, just so it levels up, because obviously that sits back. So a small bit cut out. So 15 inches up from the bottom, 18 inches across, two holes through again, your bolts. This bolt is a lot longer, this is about a six and a half inch bolt. Same with the other side. And then what I've done with the seat, all you need to do is put three pieces across and they are measuring at 40 inches, so three pieces, 40 inches, just screwed in to the top, and that's basically your seat. Just another view of the seat from a different angle, so you can see how I've done it. How the spacing piece of wood there again only has to be about six inches. 
Okay, so just doing the back rests, uh, 47 inches, and they just go up the back V, just screwed in. You'll have to adjust. Um, I put the top one on first, then you'll have to adjust to see when you sit on the chair how your back feels because sometimes these might want to come down or up depending on how tall you are. Um, but uh, for me, that's, that's just about perfect. Now we come to the shooting arms. Okay, these are, uh, I think they're 35, let me just measure that, 35 inches across. Basically from the front of the V to the back of the V, yeah, 35 inches across. I've just screwed that one in there, got it nice and level, um, and then bolted, bolt through there and put a spacer just on there. A longer bolt again, you'll need a, I think about six and a half. And uh, I've just cut, quite badly, cut the top piece off, just so it levels it out. And then what I'm going to do is where I'm shooting here, uh, I'm not shooting flat, so this is into a valley. So I'm not going to have, I usually, with the other high seat I did, I put the bar on there. And this is five foot, this bar. But what I'm going to do is I want to put it on the front this time um, with about four screws. Just gives me that, that perfect perfect shooting position it's a personal thing the shooting position so once you're up here and you've got this this far just either take um, your rifle or I use usually use a spirit level just to pretend it's my gun so I can level um, the shooting position on you don't want to be uncomfortable when you're shooting so just get it to where you want it customize it um, for the way where, where you are basically so I've used about 11 lengths of 12 foot 4x2. The last few bits I've just done a few bracing pieces in the middle just to make it a bit less wobbly. But there you have basically your, uh, your finished high seat. I'll give that a lick of uh, Cupronol. Um, green, I think, just so it blends in with the, the trees at the back. But yeah, that'll stand hopefully for a good 10 years, maybe more.